One of the guys making big headlines this weekend is Tom Brady. He's taking the field once again for the big game to try and win another championship, this time with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But you know, before he became a living quarterback legend, it all started right here in Northern California, where he was taking snaps and making plays in his high school years. Our next guest knew all about Brady's brilliance before he ever got to the NFL because he was catching passes from him in high school as a scoring one-two duo. John Kirby has many fond memories of their glory days at Sarah High School, and he's with us for a little flashback Friday action. So, John, were you like BFF besties with Tom Brady? Um, yeah, actually, back in the day in high school, uh, man, we had a really good connection. It actually started our freshman year where he was the backup quarterback and I was the backup receiver. We didn't play a lot. We're actually on an 0-8 freshman team, if you can believe it, oh, with uh, Tom Brady. He didn't get to play at all. Yeah, but then sophomore year rolled around. We started going. We, we got going right there. You can see in the clip. It's awesome. Our sophomore year, we actually went from 0-8 and, and got to play for the championship. And then as junior and senior year, Tommy did great and was lucky enough to get a full Division One scholarship to move on to Michigan. And as we know, from Michigan to the Patriots, to the wow. Buccaneers, you know, the rest is history. Yeah, so back then, would you have ever imagined that Tom would make it this far or rise to this, I mean, level of fame? He's out of this world. No, you know what? Actually, a uh, uh, funny thing is that he was more known for baseball in our area. Uh, he was actually drafted in uh, the baseball draft to go uh, to the Expos, but instead chose to go to Michigan. He was more uh, well-known for baseball. You know, we never thought he would go this far. You know, we thought he'd probably be a good Division One quarterback, play a couple years in the NFL, and that would be it. But, man, for it to uh, achieve the heights that it's at, I mean, we're so beyond proud of Tommy. And, and the fact that it keeps going and going, and every year, you know, when we're watching the Super Bowl, we, we're enjoying it. Maybe this will be the next or the last year, and then it seems like two years later he's back or the next year. So we're you're, so you're proud right. of Tommy. It's just uh, so it's amazing. So I mean, he what, is hanging he in there do. with all those young guys. So let's throw it back to when you two were young guys in high school. We saw a clip <laughs> earlier, but let's talk about that. The first comeback game that you and Tom had. Yeah, so I was actually lucky to be part of Tommy's first comeback win. He's done, you know, it seems like hundreds of them in the NFL since. It was against our rival, St. Ignatius. Uh, we're down two points with a minute seven left. Tommy drove us all the way down the field where we wound up kicking a 37-yard field goal with no time left to beat our rival by one point. And that was, the, you know, that was the, the start of something great. You could see something great coming from Tommy there. And I was so proud to be part of his very first comeback win way back when he was 15 years old. Wow. What was his work ethic like back then compared to what we're seeing now in the NFL? You know, I'm, I'm sure he works even harder now. But back then, man, he was a hard worker. Um, we actually had something called the five dot drill where you would put five dots on the ground and it was for footwork. He actually went and put it in his own garage and would do it nightly. Oh, um, man. Learning work ethic from Tommy. We did tons of um, film study. We we work with our coach on a Saturday. Then on Sunday, we go to Tommy's house for lunch, have some sandwiches, hang out with his parents. And we talk individually about our routes and, you know, how, how we could communicate on the field better. So that's actually uh, where Tom's work ethic started. And we're claiming that we were one of the first ones to start film study extra without our coaches way <laughs> back in 1991. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what would you say his secret is to being successful? And, and how do you keep up with him these days? Do you guys have any reunions? No, actually, I was lucky enough to talk, um, to, talk to him uh, this past Sunday after the NFC Championship game. I keep in touch with him uh, on text and email a few times a year. I don't like to bug him during the season. But you know what's great about Tommy? Part of the reason why he stayed so successful is, he, is you know, he stays close to his roots. He's got a great family foundation. His family is amazing. Uh, you can see in those pictures when I saw Tommy there at a fundraiser. It was just like the good old days, hanging out, you know, two old buddies. He's just a normal dude who's, you know, kind of, achieved great heights and mm -hmm. it's what's awesome is when you talk to him and hang out with him it's just like hanging out with a normal guy oh, that's, that's part so of the nice. reason why he's been so successful he, he stayed who he is oh that's great to hear that now uh you're obviously a football guy are you still involved with the game these days uh yes i actually um, i'm lucky enough i have my own coaching website it's at www.catchingpasses.com you can come on over i love teaching offensive players how to catch the ball and you can see on the screen there i'm all about what is your why I can help you figure out what is your why. Why are you out there? Why are you catching the ball? Why are you playing football? I can help you with the mental side. 
And I just love working with kids. I've been a coach and a teacher for 15 years. I've mm -hmm. coached over 3,000 kids. So give me a call and we can go have some fun. <laughs> Very good, John. And you know, you contributed to Tom Brady's success for sure. You can all learn more about Coach John Kirby at catchingpasses.com.